Welcome to BizWire, I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has ruled that poultry processed in China can now be sold across the United States. But before flying the coop, the birds must be hatched and raised in the U.S., Canada or Chile. Only after slaughter are they cleared for export to China for processing before being shipped back to America. But food experts don't believe this will result in much chicken returning to the U.S. from China, but say that American-raised chicken will more likely end up between two chopsticks in China. The new rule from the USDA is seen as a quid pro quo in order for American chicken farmers to gain access to the vast Chinese market. But instead of promoting the opportunities for U.S. farmers, some American politicians are sticking to their usual narrative. Democratic Senator from New York Charles Schumer wrote recently that China's, quote, appallingly poor food safety record makes it deeply troubling that U.S. poultry will be processed in Chinese plants. But experts say geographic and economic barriers stand in the way of American chicken processed in China being sent back to America in much quantity. As the birds must be raised and slaughtered in the U.S., Canada, or Chile, and then shipped halfway around the world to be processed, cooked, and packaged before again crossing the Pacific Ocean, the economics don't quite add up. With the blessing of Congress, the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service lifted the ban on chicken exports in late August. As of now, only four Chinese processors are eligible to export to the United States. Although USDA inspectors will not visit the Chinese plants, the exports must be inspected upon arrival in the United States. A spokesman for the National Chicken Council, Tom Super, says he hasn't heard of any major U.S. distributors signing up for the Chinese birds. Super says he expects only, quote, a minuscule amount of Chinese imports. President of the USA Poultry and Egg Export Council, Jim Sumner, says China is, quote, one of America's largest export markets and has the potential, by far, to be the largest market. Sumner says that the ruling from the USDA is something the poultry industry has been lobbying in favor of for many years. Sumner says the goal was to open up the Chinese market and not risk upsetting them. This is not to say that U.S. consumers don't have legitimate reasons to be concerned about food produced in China. They do. Food safety scandals, unfortunately, are a regular feature of media coverage, both foreign and domestic. Besides safety scandals, re-importers will also have to consider the high costs associated with supply disruptions caused by potential outbreaks of avian flu in China. This would be in addition to the costs associated with product liability and recall, not to mention damage done to their brand. As of now, Canada, Chile, France, Israel, and South Korea are allowed to export chicken parts to the U.S., yet 99% of the chicken consumed in America is raised and processed in the U.S. You're watching BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network, China's first and only privately owned broadcast media. All of our stories can be seen on our website, bon.tv backslash biz dash wire. In just a second, we'll continue with more insight into the big picture of China's economy.